Alright, welcome back. Well, we are us and this. This is a Uchronic 100 Heroes, of which I have quite a few. Granted, not all of them are particularly useful or interesting, as far as, you know, gameplay is concerned. As far as characters, couldn't tell you because they aren't useful in gameplay, so I wouldn't keep them around. Just gotta be honest about that. Let me start the timer real quick. And, uh... We'll go ahead and dominate whatever's ahead. How much further to the detonation site, Leanne? We there yet? Yep. I mean, sure. I mean, I think so. I thought we were in excellent hands. Uh, watch it, kiddo. I've been doing this job days longer than you. So, where did I put that map? I'm fairly certain this is the place. What? Uh, Mimi, you remember? Miss Iris had already given me a look at the map when you snatched it away. Huh. Lady knows how to set up a contingency plan. <laughs> ha ha, very funny. Noah, just set the charge already and make it snappy. Yeesh, what did you do for fun in the two days before I came along? All set. Now we just wait for go time and kaboom! Uh, the imps are gonna find White Crown Pass to be significantly less passable. Then turn around and go home if we're lucky. But even if not, it'll cost them a whole bunch of time. I would like to think so, but nothing is a given considering the craftiness of the Dukes. Shall we head back, Noah? Yeah. Let's hope Sane and Marissa manage to pull their side of this off. I don't see why not. Both are leading exceptional teams. <laughs> yep. I mean, we can't be the only perfect ones. God, look at this menagerie of just... pure... fun. Damn right. This is a great team, aside from Mio, who just happens to be in Leanne. Leanne's not bad, she just, just doesn't do anything. Ah, great, we have to walk the entire way back, huh? Does anyone have a free slot? I know the answer is no. I'm just trying to put some boots on one of these people. Zabi with the 415 MP. Meanwhile, carry exists. Yeah, I would have definitely gone north first, so that whatever's up there we got. I sure love having to run the entire way back though. That's great. God, I really wish I could equip the dash boots. But then I'd have to take them off once we actually get close to the mark on the map. Keep it up! We're almost there! Another glorious victory, be it Finn, Cully! If this works, and we manage to stall the Empire... So, my master's suspicions were on the mark. Ah. It's the German Scotsman. Who's there? Heinrich, no less. 
A king walks this way, and all the rats can do is scurry and defile. I cannot abide such wickedness. That's cute coming from the guy who serves. The guy he serves. Ah, Pawn of Aldrin. Full of yourself. Got it. Of course you'd have someone sniffing around here. Stay sharp, everyone. This is no ordinary foe. Of course not. Yeah, I feel it too. We're in big trouble. No. Repent and blood! Show me some hustle! And just think. Just think. They made me walk all the way down to this. Rather than make him walk all the way up to me. So that the moment we pass the save point, which I should have used, but it's fine. I can skip that entire dialogue event. I should not have had to walk all of that distance. Thankfully, I didn't waste any resources, aside from a little bit of Yusuke's health, Scarlet's health. It's not a big deal. Let's start this off with some free damage. Uh, Andrew is as good as any. Guards up! You'll pay double for attacking me. Hmm. Let's get some damage over time, and then we'll try to put him to sleep next turn. He doesn't have armor, so there's no <clears throat> real point to waste any uh, MP. I want to use the heal, but I just don't see 40 isn't going to be worth anything, and the other one is too expensive to use willy-nilly, so we'll hold off for now. What? Impossible! You will yield! Let this be the end of it! Is everyone okay? I don't remember if Jaw Crush utilizes the charge up or not. I would have to assume so. Six hundred and eighty-five. 
way too tough. Were were we watching the same fight? Because we were totally mashing his potatoes. You cannot harm me. My spirit is hardened steel. My fealty unassailable. And that, and that, is the last truth you will ever know! Noah! Uh, who's this guy? Please don't. Please don't put these people in my party. General Heinrich? An Imperial General. Sounds like a fight's brewing. No, we don't fight this man. We run. Oh, thanks for the vote of confidence. That's not why we should run. What do you mean? Tick, 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 boom. We could have literally just said tick tock and maybe not given away the plan entirely. Never mind. There was no time to respond anyway. No. No! What have you done? A little bit of terrorism. Quickly, everyone! Defensive terrorism. I'll kill you yet! You maggots! I assure you that is... probably partially true. You will maybe kill Scarlet again. Then you will die. Well, you won't die. You'll get plot armor. Is everyone all right? Yeah. Aside from Our Scarlet. All accounted for. She had a rough time of it. Ours too. Likewise. Also, guardians don't die on mountains. I mean, to be honest, he's the only useful one, so I don't feel like nitpicking here. Wait, where's Lean? You don't think she... Took off, yes. Lean was here? She's fine. Took off a while ago, actually. Something about having things to do. Also concerning. So you recognize that guy, Hildy? He's Aldrich's man. The Dukes gave him a seat at the table in exchange for quelling a rural uprising. He's usually quite level-headed, until the wrong thing sets him off. You don't say. Why do I feel like we're gonna run into him again? Hmm. All that matters now is that the operation was a success. We should hurry back to Athrobalt. Good idea. We've got a head start, and we should use it. You should all be proud of what we accomplished here. A little bit of terrorism goes a long way. Guess we'll start back too. Real battle still ahead of us. All right, so I know I need pelts for... Really, I should have gone back to base first, then come here. I'm still debating it. I really want snow packs. But I know now, at least for now, I'm aware that we can farm pelts at the Snow Peak Pass easy peasy. Granted, I could also just win at headquarters and doing the upgrading stuff. I could wait. I want to pick up some revives, because I have none of those. But I also know that I could go to base and interact with the management system, let's say. And I can have it tell me where to find a material. So that, there's also that. There we go. Just hit me with some of that. Those are very low on herbs. Oh, 
Okay, six is the max. I need to put some garbage away. Got really focused on Scarlet after <laughs> after hitting the Tin Man that is Gar. It was like, yeah, that's not going to work, and I don't blame him because it wasn't. But it would have been nice if he had kept trying. No, I got rid of the light. There's no... Oh, there is a blacksmith here. And we have plenty of money. And I would love for these guys to start doing beyond 600 damage. You have no idea how much it breaks my heart that... Euphelius' uh, rune skill does not boost the damage from charge up. For further boost the damage boost from charge. Still not a good way to put it, but it it helps communicate things better. Okay, we'll move on to the next one for now. Oh yeah, let's let's push this thing's damage up a bit. I also know I can go back to the cave back at Stris Village and we can just farm money there and XP if necessary. Like I can take one single person there and bump them up quite a bit. Let's stop at 25 for her. Hopefully this hopefully whatever formula they're using to determine damage allows what I'm doing here to significantly contribute to pushing their damage with charge up. Let's go ahead and make this guy's ankles even more powerful as he destroys those of others. We'll stop at 50 for him. Well, level 12 to get him past. Ooh, that's nice. I don't, I don't know about this. We'll skip that and go with you, Felius. I'll probably go ahead and farm up some extra Bakwa while this video is rendering, or the, the not rendering, but. Does she need her weapon attack increase to do damage with her spells? It doesn't make sense. I mean, it's cheap enough, so I guess we could experiment. I don't, I don't want to, but it'll help answer some other questions later on. You can see these people are going to be with me for a while because their investment levels are over 9,000. Bakwa. I want to start getting the main three closer to dealing a thousand damage per charge up. And unfortunately, it looks like using rune skills to deal damage doesn't actually contribute to boosting that damage any which is heartbreaking truly
I mean, in for a penny, in for a pound, right? Oh, yeah, let's actually get him as far as he can go. Gar has been good to us, you know? And what does a good boy deserve? Only the best weapons. The highest damage. The coolest armor. Actually, hold on. better. We heard the operation was a smashing success, Noah. Oh yeah, we had a blast. Skillfully executed, Commander. You've delayed the Imperial invasion for weeks, at least. Any tidings from the Kinani army? They're preparing to march and will arrive in Athrobolt in several days. Now we can face the Duke's forces at our full strength. I'm going to wash that smirk off his face with his own tears. And yet, I still have two concerns. The Revenant Horde and the Kinani army's sluggish pace. They must still be struggling to stay provisioned. Pardon the intrusion, ma'am. Yes? What is... I have a message from our scouts stationed near White Crown Pass. The Empire is conducting a large-scale construction effort to bypass the Demolished Trail. What? How long until they break through? They've deployed massive numbers of laborers and engineers. I'd say we have only a matter of days before they march on Athraboth. This can't be happening. Damn you, Aldrich. He clearly planned for the possibility the pass might be compromised. More significantly, this tells us Duke Saldrick has taken full control of the Empire and isn't afraid to wield his newfound power. We ran into one of his generals in the pass. It's clear he wasn't just there to look around. Electra, your counsel! The Kinani troops will reach us in time, yes? I will send a runner and request they make haste, Your Majesty. However, it is anyone's guess which army will reach Athrobalt's walls first. If they arrive simultaneously, it will throw our plan into chaos. We must stall the Empire. And what do you propose? We take the troops we have and bring the battle to them. That will slow their advance and buy us time. Once we unite with Kinan's troops, we can fight a more decisive battle. It's the only choice now that waiting is off the table. But... Can we win? It's not a matter of winning. It's a stall tech. You just need to endure. There are no absolutes in war. But you either grab the beast by the horns or get gored by it. I concur with General Electra's proposal. It's the only choice. Looks like we best brace for some rough days ahead, Noah. Yeah. I should have seen this coming. Based on what? I hate, hate, hate that stupid man and his stupid, filthy smirk! You can't do him in with words, Periel. Well, I'm sure it's everything going to try! <gasps> <clears throat> in any case, the Alliance must fight the next battle without Kenon's assistance. I'll ready the troops at once. Cassius, about the matter we spoke of? Of course, sire. His Majesty, King Yuma, has decreed the Alliance take temporary command of Eucharist's army. The Empire's might is vast. We cannot defeat them if we continue to behave like sheep with too many shepherds. Henceforth, you may give me orders as you see fit. Is this acceptable, Noah? I know you can lead us through this battle, so I wish to remove every obstacle. Like my existence. Thank you, Yuma. King Yuma. It's fine, Cassius. If that's settled, Stick I'll include the Eucrisian forces in my preparations. Commander Noah, you should rest. You mean figurehead Noah, or not Noah, uh, Yuma. Right, that's his name. Figurehead. He's a king in name only, but a figurehead in practice. But I want to help. 
You can help by being primed, poised, and ready to act at the crucial moment. That is what a true leader does. Can't have you kneeling over before the big day now, can we? Now go on! Off with you, shoo! I want us all to stop and take a moment and review. Not only did she say kneeling over, she was not corrected. This line was not fixed, even though the script almost, almost certain. It's possible there was a type. Almost certainly. Said Keeling. There has not been such an issue anywhere else. Aside from the stuff that the localizers changed for whatever reason. Because they're insane. So. I mean, I'd like to overlook it, but I mean, I, I, it's no secret that I don't like the English voice, voice act. I mean, uh. I don't remember this guy's name, but our strategist, his voice is delightful. Cassius Clay over here, his voice acting is pretty good. Yuma, Periel, I prefer if they never spoke. Noah, I'm alright with his voice acting. Where were we going with this? Right. So I don't understand how she got kneeling over. It doesn't even make sense in context. Even that should not have sounded right in her head or as she spoke the line. She should have immediately gone back over it and looked and then read the entire thing again. It should have sounded wrong. But no one corrected her. She didn't stop to correct herself. I don't understand how you could get something that wrong, is my point. Kneeling over doesn't mean anything. Therefore, you should have stopped and thought to yourself, what? Looked at the line, read it a bit, realized if there was a typo, that there was a typo because it doesn't make sense altogether. <sighs> God, you Felius has or the did the she walk. just kick me out? Yo ho ho! Ye be working too hard, Kelly! And that be saying something. Indeed. We should head to an inn for now and rest. I think if I go to the inn, it's just going to skip through. It's just going to do the montage thing and then we'll be at the big battle. This girl appears to be circling this soldier like a bird of prey. I'm not going to expand on that idea. But I just want I just want that knowledge in your hands. So I want to go back to base and pick up well open up the Stopak store. And what else? All right. Put away some One. items. Wow. This is great. I mean, that's kind of insulting, isn't it? You build her, you build anyone else's shop, you get hundreds of people. You build a stow pack shop. You get ten, and I'm one of them. Though technically I was already here. Hmm. The math on that works out somehow. Where else did I... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. 
Let's make sure there aren't any expansions to be made. Exp ah, I need more pelts, which means I need to go back to the mountain. Which side was it that had them? I think it was Sane's party, so they went to the right. They went to the right or to the center, I'm not sure. for further activities. Okay, so currently our capacity has increased by 10. Nice. I can't wait to jam more stuff into my inventory. Hey there. But first, let's get rid of the stuff I don't Frick is a champion egg. Oh, we need this for the girl who wants to raise a racing eggfoot army. For sport, purely. So this means I can carry much more revival medicine. Granted, I shouldn't need more than eight. A ton more healing. So I'm just going to start getting the really expensive stuff and then using that seldomly, like as a critical use just to be safe, you know? For when it's obvious someone's going to hit the dirt and I've got no other options. Let's actually go ahead and visit her shop. I don't think I need gear or anything. And we've got the big battle coming up, so we won't be needing to use our party anyway. I want to also get that done before the end of the episode. First, we'll go ahead and use the hot spring really quickly. Since I just upgraded that, why not, right? I want to see how much how much how much better it's going to be when let's be honest it was awful before like 15 A good is soaks what you need 15 per 15 a heal of 15 per turn is nothing i I would assume poison would do more damage than that, and so it's just, it does nothing for you. I don't understand why these other people are here. Also, oh! Yeah, and these two, of course, aren't going to be in the water, naturally. But I'm confused by the three in the back. I get I get why that one is here. Naturally, he's going to be watching the guys bathe. But the two further back, I guess they're just here? Oh, an interaction. Did you hear? Word on the street is the restaurant's got a new seasonal menu. Ah, so Leanne's already heard about it and reserved enough for everyone. Mio calling Le Leanne awesome? It seems pretty out of character. And of course, Gar's not. I mean, 
He's a good boy, so why not feed him, right? But yeah, that was really out of character for Mio. At least in her interactions with Leanne in the past. Come back. Right, the stove pack shop. That's a thing, too. Where would that even be? Is it in the trade shop or in the trade house? Yeah, from the looks of it, it is. So. To be clear, it's a trading house. So is it over here? Yes. Hopefully I can purchase a number of stove packs rather than just the one. I've got spare capital. What evil is this? Unless it's in the main building or in the castle. Why wouldn't it just be in the trading house and then I'd know to go there? What? Like, I don't even know... I don't even know where inside the castle it's supposed to spawn, or where it was constructed. I have literally. Why is there what appears to be a graveyard inside of a castle? That's the stuff of horror movies right there. Or at least the beginning of the stuff of horror movies. From the look of it when it was constructed, it's indoors. Clearly. And it was in an area that you face when you enter it. So it won't be through a left door, it won't be through a right door. It has to be through a door that faces us like this, right? It doesn't make sense that a shop would be... It said it was a shop. Where I could buy stove packs. But if it isn't an actual shop, that would explain why it added nothing to population. Okay, so I was up here checking Code L's stock, seeing if he had anything new. I remembered that there were people from the last episode that had gotten new rune slots unlocked. Uh, no one that's in the party, though, so none of that really matters. Well, aside from Euphelius, who always matters. So, I was going to give him another mighty power, you know, spend a little Bakwa on our boy. But then it occurred to me, he also has the ability to stun, so why not give him the Interference Room? Which increases stun probability by 25%. Now, I don't know if that works on the stun from normal attacks, from characters that use bashing, smashing, whatever the icon, whatever it's supposed to be, type damage. I don't know if it applies to that or not, but we're going to find out. 
because I know there are skills that have a probability of stunning, and then I would assume the interference rune would stack with that to increase the probability, but most important is whether or not it works for characters that deal blunt damage, let's say. Because that appears to be the only kind of damage that actually stuns. Punches, kicks, hammers, things like that. Hey, thank you. Also, Nell doesn't so much have a shop as she has a, a corner and a wall. I guess that's fine. I need more... I need a lot more pals, though, right? Either way, I think we're all set here. I could probably take a look at the armorer stock, but really, I think we're done. So let's head back to Athra Vault, which totally is an Agrabah, by the way. Arabian Nights and all. And head to the inn to begin the violence. I am a teleporting. Melridge and the others should be done with preparations by now. All preparations are in place, Commander Noah. Our scouts report the Imperial Army is nearing the intercept location. We must strike a mighty blow, dull their momentum, and buy enough time for the Kinani army to reach Athrabalt. That is our only objective. What a glorious day this be, by chum! Now, let's show some hustle! Sir, yes, sir. Until your war with the Empire is finished, I'm still on contract. The Guardians stand with you as well. Aldric is going to pay for running roughshod over the forest. Me and Sylv... I mean, me and the room tank... will always have your back. I'm glad to be fighting side by side once more. Go out there and turn that Duke's ugly smirk upside down. We'll be marching alongside the Noristari army at your word, Commander. Let's go. Yeah. I gotta repay those revenants for what they did to your nun. That doesn't have anything to do with what we're about to do. What is the point of this line? The revenants aren't going to be in this fight. We're fighting people right now. Living ones. Just... Just like she was complaining about the dukes running roughshod over the forest. Which he has not done, mind you. Despite all of the other horrible things this man has done, some perceived slight against the forest is her motivation against the Dukes. We can't allow Dukes Aldrich's crimes against Yelu's people to be repeated. That. That is reasoning to fight the Dukes. Fight! 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 Yeah! That is Euphelius. Well, we've got a lot of units to place. Well, at the very least, they all have ranged units. And I definitely want Noah's... Archer attack up and Mage's magic attack up. Hmm. No. 
like is it it's really not going to let me change any of these people apparently that's super great I wanted to check I wanted to check the stats of those who are in the fight yeah I think that's Oh well, let's make war. It's not like there was anything else I could do. I probably should have saved now that I think about it. Save soldiers of Norister! On this day, we stop the Imperial Army in its tracks! We delay them in their tracks. No nation need fear their cruelty again! Until they start marching again, which won't be that much longer after we stall them. With this battle, we tip the scales! And by my life, and honor, we shall win the day! Wow, she is good. Well, now let's see if you can top her when it comes to rallying the troops, Noah. Right. Today, we stop the Empire. Today, we defend the people we love. Today, we... Win! Hmm, not bad. A little. That's not. It'll do. All that matters is how it resonated with the soldiers. <laughs> the fools who dared defy his grace now come to lay their heads on the chopping block. Funny you should mention that. Hear me, brave soldiers! Today, we take the next step down the Empire's shining path! Steal your hearts and fight with me! Fight for the glory of Galdia! Heinrich won't get the last word. Not today. The Dukes is watching closely, and I shall be the one to deliver victory. So, you've discovered the weak link in the chain. We must slow their advance! As discussed, we should focus on Heinrich and Chapel's units. If we can drive back either one, our goal will be achieved. And once the Kinani army joins us in the field, we can put an end to this war once and for all. Now let us fight like lions, Commander! Like lions! Yeah, the weak, uh, the weak link will be Chapel, because he has fewer units with him. I want Sane's tank in there with Electra. We'll see how they move first. Look, 
Over there! <sighs> the Revenants? I knew they were working together! Our bones and blades are yours, Imperial comrades. Allow me to expand on what I said earlier. There was no evidence whatsoever. Well, nope, that's not true at all. The, 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 the woman with the mask, I cannot remember her name. The woman with the mask was with him. So, I mean, you could assume that they were working with the Empire. But you'd have about a 50-50 chance of being right. Whereas she could also just be moving this undead legion to her own ends. And there's no one saying that she's... And there's just no, nothing saying that she isn't. But they're here now, so what can we do? Good. Now, don't stop until you've crushed those League vermin! Stand your ground! Push the Empire back! Those reinforcements are going to make life difficult. Still, their partnership might be more fragile than it looks. Maybe we can defeat the Revenant's leader and sow a little chaos in the ranks. A fine idea. Though it's best we focus our strength in any case. Ah, no one mentioned that she was here, by the way. Gerard is too far back. Dang, I really... Well, it's fine. We sh... I don't know if we actually have a heal. I would prefer to avoid Noah's group getting struck from the side by um, Heinrich, even though I want to go after the zombie. I know he's not a zombie, shut up. Um, right, so I don't like that this guy's just out here. But, I could put him to use in delaying her. Marissa the Guardian stands before you! Prepare to face me! Bet you never saw a bad news like this! I have no idea why Nell is in the on the battlefield, but no choice here we are. Control. Yes, I know. I really wish I could speed up the animations, though. Like, aside from the times where they're speaking, you should be able to speed through the animation because this takes long enough as it is. Yeah, let's move them into these guys before they try to catch Noah's group from the side. Hold on. Let's make sure no one has useful Legion commands. We only have one unit with mages in it, so that Legion Command isn't particularly useful. We do have a heal, though, so that actually makes this team perfect for going against the main... Shh. 
enemy general. I think they all have cavalry, right? No, literally only one. I actually don't want them to be immobilized here because, again, it leaves Noah's group vulnerable. What do you have, bud? Okay, let's boost attack. I like that. That's not what I meant to do. Okay, there we go. Good. Change facing. Let's see. Yeah, that'll do. Let's make sure they have a rough time. Should we use assault on chapels? I don't think we need any of that right now. Though I do note that we have no healing. Behold! The secret power of the rune lenses! Good. So this next engagement might take them out entirely. of my life with every fiber of my being I will stop you as grace has bid me take this land your life means nothing in comparison Duke's Eldrick is a monster and he must be removed silence traitor bet you never saw a bad news like this Keep going. We did it! Flawlessly! Obviously. Very good! You turned the tide valiantly! ends here. That's not good. So, Chapstick is done. We only need one group for him. 
but there's no real reason to take it easy. Also, it looks like Durad, I think his name is. It looks like he is going to be withdrawing from the tile that she's on. What's her name, anyway? I keep forgetting. Yep, not remembering that. Naru is good enough, I guess. I'm still not going to remember it. Brief respite. fan of the immobilize. Sure, why not? Prepare magic combat. I mean, there's only one unit with mages in it, but it's fine. Do that. I'll have you be quiet. Oh, and reduce their defense. And their skills have been sealed, it looks like. But Noah's group can still move. Did it immobilize the enemy? Is that what the stop was? Or the stop icon? Interesting. Very interesting. That's a shame. Uh, let's see. Just to make sure no unnecessary damage is taken by Noah, who is critical to victory here. The rod is moving. Is he moving now? Because if I throw caches at them and they stay together, that's that's bad news. Let's see what happens. The enemy is upon us. Yeah. I thought so. Let us go and meet our new slaves to be. No! What are you cowards doing? You were supposed to win me honor with his grace, not force me to look the fool. Damn you all. Huh? <sighs> And he calls himself an Imperial General. That Craven Kerr has sent our troops into disarray. We'll have to fall back and regroup. Mm. We should withdraw as well. Enough, my liches! Fall back! Liches and hoes. <sighs> the Imperial forces are retreating. Well done. Phase one of Operation Duke's Tears is in the back. We did it, Noah. We sure did. Still, that was only our first tilt at them. Best stay on guard. Tell all troops to make ready. They are to reform their lines and await Kinan's forces. Once they arrive, we wage our final battle on Dukes Aldrich and the Empire. <gasps> oh, 
Is something wrong, Melrich? No, it can't be! herded sheep together and taught them the basics of combat. For that, I salute you. But what say you now, General Electra of Nordstar? What say you, Commander Noah of the Alliance? Shall I give you a place in my army once I have finished subjugating the League of Nations? For war is unending, and we will always have need of fodder. So long as I breathe, Your Grace, there will be no more mistakes! <clears throat> Duke Zeldrick has already arrived? That's some quick military maneuvering. Guess the Supreme General thing is more than a fancy title. Confound him! <sighs> okay, is no one going to mention the giant dragon? How the hell did he get that thing? If I had to guess, the creature is likely a result of the research the Dukes has been conducting on the Primal Lens. When we infiltrated his laboratory, we saw such creatures held in thrall. So it's being controlled? General Electra, we should retreat while... Well... General Electra, ma'am. A message from the Kinarni army. They're only a short distance away. Excellent news. All units, Titan formation. We'll mount a counterattack as soon as they arrive. Dispatch a runner to Kinan. General, I think it wisest to call a temporary retreat to the safety of Arthrobalt. With the Duke's head right there for the taking? Is it your judgment that's lacking, or your esteem for my troops? Or perhaps it's merely arrogance? We may never get a better chance than right now. So we will join the Kinani army and strike with all our might. And she dares talk about arrogance. Now, Rich, what do you think? There is some logic to what General Electra says. No matter the size of the gamble, it truly might be our best chance. The worst thing we can do is argue over strategy and create division. Too many shepherds, remember? It's my job to prepare for any outcome. So that is what I shall do. The League never does learn. We've got units on the wrong side. Same as before, I want to switch things up. His group is arguably weakest, so we'll move them around. Actually, we can move him immediately. Onward! Outrun the wind! Can't use it again. So. Their unit strength isn't too bad, so. Moving Euphelius might not be that big of a gamble.
I could use the Legion command in order to boost our damage, which probably is the best idea. Actually, going to leave these two here. Let us go and meet our new slaves to be. You asked for it. Okay, so at least we're winning on this front. Not by much. Okay, Durad's losing more health, that's good. Where is Jinan? From what the messenger said, they should arrive at any moment. I see them, King Valmors! We made it in time. Hmm. Oh, they're here! The Kinani army is here! Yeah, but... Yeah, baby! Maybe now we can actually have a fair fight. I... Let's turn the tides! I wouldn't get your hopes up just yet. All right. The first step is to merge our troops. A message from General Electra Sire. She requests we unite our troops as quickly as possible and commence the counterattack on the Jukes' forces. Praise them for holding out! Had we come this far, only to find our allies defeated, our honor would have been in tatters! King Valmoris? It's remarkable they are still standing. Indeed, sire. The that's... soldiers' efforts to reprovision day and night have been rewarded. That's not what he meant, though. But... How are they still standing? I'd have thought this matter settled by now. Alas, but we must play the cards we are dealt. I'm sorry, sire. Alert the wife captains of each squadron. Commence an immediate attack on the Noristuri army. See that no mistakes are made. Attack the... What are you saying, King Balmors? Wipe that stupefied look off your face. 
We have crossed blades with the Noristuris before, have we not? Of course, sire. But surely this is the worst time and place to have a falling out with our current allies. It sounds as if you are questioning my orders. Are you King Sworn or no? But sire, this is... Don't tell me you've been communicating with Dukes Aldrich all along. Aldrich has a clear vision for the future, and his ambitions will not end with the annexation of the League of Nations. Better to join with him than that imbecile Salus Bailrant. Through our new union, the Dukes shall grant the Dragonute's dominion over all the lands of the League. Now! Do as I say, and give the order! General Vortis! Heed me, King Sworn. A Dragonute breaks not the ironclad oath! Gather the messengers! I have orders for the wife captains. General Vortis. So, all that's left is to defeat the Dukes? No. Yes, we're nearly there. Yet I am curious why the Kinani army is behaving so erratically in the final hour. Yeah, you're not gonna like the answer to that, mate. What are you talking about? I did a little recon, like the brains here asked me to. The Kinani king issued orders to his squads, all right? But he told him to attack Noristan. What? That's... No. He wouldn't dare. Commander Noah, every moment we spend wringing our hands... I know. Do what you have to. We ought to inform the Noristari army so they can pull their asses out of the fire before it eats them alive. General Electra, call an immediate retreat. Kenan has betrayed us. What? No. Oh, that's preposterous! You are certain of this, Master Melridge? Very certain, General. I thought it odd the Empire knew about our operation in White Crown Pass and suspected a mole might be to blame. Sadly, our scouts just confirmed it. Please act quickly before you are caught between them. All troops, fall back! Fall back now! So... They've caught on, and wasted no time in acting, either. Such a clever man they have advising them. Shall we give chase, your grace? No. Let the Kinani army handle that. We have exhausted our troops enough. Reform the lines, and let the soldiers rest. So we're letting them go? Oh, I have already made arrangements for that. Our victory is guaranteed. Explain yourself, Electra. Why have you fled home with your tail between your legs? Apologies, your majesty. The Kinani army betrayed us, and I failed to see it coming. We were able to escape thanks to Master Melridge's swift counsel, but with no small number of casualties at the Dragon Newt's hands. I knew we couldn't trust that scoundrel Val Morris. Well, what do you advise? Though we were able to shake free of the Kinanis, the Imperial and Revenant armies will soon be at our door. And if that happens... Our best course is to flee and preserve as many troops as possible until we can seize another opportunity. Well then do it. Give the order to flee and ready us for departure. But, King Solace, what about the people of Athrobald? You aren't going to abandon them, are you? If you're so concerned about the commoners, you stay and defend them. In fact, yes, I order you to stay here and defend the city. What kind of stupid, selfish order is that? You're needed at the gates, General. What happened? They're here, ma'am. Run for your lives! 
Hurry! The imps are coming! What is that thing? Screams are exquisite. Dulcet music to my ears. Delight made manifest. I shall harvest their lives and grant them the pleasure of joining my beloved liches. There are monsters blocking the gates? They look to be some kind of revenant. Also, the living dead are appearing all around the city. And you're saying every gate is blocked? No, Your Majesty. There are monsters at the south, east, and west gates, but the gate to the castle remains unimpeded. Curious, that. Then that's our way out. Is it, though? But the citizens don't know what's going on, Your Majesty. They're panicking. If we don't intervene, they'll run right to those fiends at the gates. The slaughter will be enormous. And we're in no place to worry about it. Electra, Noah, do as you will. Well, Commander, shall we escape with him? Escape is the wiser course, just as King Salas said. No. We'll clear the gates first and give the people a chance to get away. As your tactician, I would be remiss if I didn't ask the leader of the Alliance to put his own safety first. We need you to live and fight another day. The answer is no. Don't worry, we've got plenty of revives. He's made his choice, Melridge. To the surprise of none? Well then, it will take too long to mobilize our entire force. Instead, we'll have to send small teams to defeat the monsters at each gate. Is this acceptable? Oh god, no. Not... Not this again. The only way. The only way this works. Is if I spare some people from the main team. For whatever other team is lacking. I think the Guardians will be fine. But if it ends up being Sane and his compatriots, we're going to have to jam some extra people in there because they suck. I'll take the personal touch over large-scale warfare any day of the week. Such a Noah thing to say. Yep. Sounds like you could use another meddler. Count me in. I think he's rubbed off on the lieutenant, too. There are three gates we need to cover, right? Wave and I will take the last one. Hey, at least Wave is useful. Sure will. We owe the city for taking care of us. Still, it ain't gonna sit well with me if we just scatter to the winds once this is done. Once we clear the gates, we should reconvene here and help the other troops escape. Agreed. I'll work on gathering as many soldiers as I can and prepare to depart. Yes, I suppose it would be wrong not to uh, wait for everyone to get back. Thank you all. I'll stay and defend the castle until we're ready to depart. Best of luck, Electra. Fight like a Valkyrie, General. Take the west gate. We should hurry, sir. The revenants have already entered the city. I suppose it would be reckless to just run them all over with silver, uh, with silver prejudice using the rune tank. Yeah, bad idea. The citizens are panicked enough already. Good luck, Sane. Leave it to us. Who else will accompany you? Janquist is the real hero. Also, let me jam a support in here while I'm thinking about it. Anyone that gives them extra damage, they need severely. Under my protection.
Can I? Can I walk next to you? We'll actually give them Reina because power is yours. they are in a tough spot. Given how pathetically underleveled they are. You got it. That doesn't actually I think I will. Wait. Unless they're fighting someone with armor. I don't think he's actually going to do us any favors. of all the exciting places we will see. That feels pretty good. They're a little overstacked, but it's necessary. All right. Let At once, Lieutenant. Always wanted to be an assistant meddler. I'm so glad he's taking after Noah. Some stress relief, perhaps. Oh, yes. Now, if you could just nibble on my earlobe while I sleep. Ah. Uh... Leave it to me. done what I could for same. for her since she is the most important person. Can't think of anything else they might need. Want resistance. Okay, so I guess Smash is their da is the name of their blunt damage type. He's got okay a rune of speed. I thought it was the rune of SP conversion, which wouldn't make sense with him because his SP well his rune skills are actually pretty useful. Let's go ahead and jack his armor up. Yeah, so S is the max. That's fine. Well, that rune of HP is garbage.
not great for him. It's a rune and not an accessory. I don't know how I didn't notice that. Actually, we want... His defenses are not great. I don't think that's good for him. You know, the real shame here is that Hildy has more health than Sane. Of course, she's also level 44. I don't... Oh, he died. So everyone else got the XP. That's what happens when they suck. High magic... I don't even see this being valuable since the values for healing are fixed or otherwise completely out of your control. HP would probably be more valuable for her. There is really no point in her having a rune of magic, but like, what else would we even give her? Is going to jam another healer in there. Quick as you please. He's not even on the team, though. Who is? Yale? Yeah, she definitely needs that rune of skill so it stays. Pretty sure I have an accessory that increases accuracy. For now, I'll actually... What do you mean I can't take the rune off a of freaking pole? Oh, because he's... Right. Nothing else I really actually want this... Oh, he can take the rune of fire for now. Until there's someone else I want to have it. There isn't another mighty... Well, she doesn't have space for a rune of mighty power anyway. Out of water. Yeah, that'll do. Not with his sixty seven MP, he's not. 
Why does this guy have magic? Surely he's not. No, we just rested, so his max that's that is his maximum MP. So why in the world does he learn does he have a room slot for magic when he has no MP? I think this will probably be useful, but only barely. The idea here is to use the... Give someone the fire enchantment and then hope that we're fighting zombies, which are hopefully weak to fire. And Reyna's perfect as always. No, we do need to take a look at equipment, just to be safe. Yeah. Actually, we will take this off. Give her that. She's not useful if she's missing everything. I guess the way they're doing this for the, the team things allows you to just dump all of your really good gear off on the current team you've been stuck with. And then you can peel it off of them when it's time to equip the next team and give it to them. But that's not what we're going to do because I'm not moving all of that stuff around like that. That's six people's worth of gear. Headgear, armor, some shields, accessories. I'm not doing that. So what can Kalathor do to be useful? Because he is not going to do damage. I suppose I could put him on the front line with the Sunstone, but Sane would be a better tank every day of the week. Only, but only because he's got an S rank armor. Yeah, give him, giving him extra HP won't hurt. I think that's it. Thank you very much. You need a rest. All right, that is that is it. I know I just I know it's annoying that I just forced you guys to watch all of that and like maybe I'll cut it out. I I don't really want to because while I would love for the video to only be an hour, having you understand how I operate works when I'm 
later going to be referring to the changes I've made to their equipment, who's on the team, and all of that. Whereas if I cut all of that out, it, it'll just go in one ear and out of the other. It's probably going to do that either way. But as it goes, anything that sticks won't confuse you if I leave that part in. Nevertheless, I hope you guys have enjoyed yourselves and Do everything. Come and see me again, yes? <laughs> we will be back. Let's see. This goes up Tuesday. We will be back on Thursday with another episode. So I hope you guys are looking forward to it. Battles big and small lie ahead. But I assume there's going to be more large-scale battles. We'll see. I can't imagine how we get through this. Well, we've got to retreat, so yeah, it might not be a large-scale battle next time. But that's an issue for next time. We'll find out then, and not worry about it now. And so with all that said, we will see you next time.